And welcome back to the North Greenville Sports Network. It is playoff time, and we're not done yet, as upsets galore have set the stage for us here in Tigerville, South Carolina, as North Greenville gets ready to take on the Tuskegee University Golden Tigers. Uh, North Greenville, they you can't look ahead because you've got this game, but you know they're thinking if we win this ball game, we get a shot at them again. Yeah, exactly. And Tuskegee, they're thinking, hey, we're back in the playoff. Let's keep this going. All right. Both teams are going to be facing tougher schedules now, tougher teams as they move along. That's the way these things work. So they have to step up their game, and, and uh, I believe both teams have got players sitting on the bench that's just anxious to get in and show the coaching staff what they can do. And also Oz, Osban Thompson. Hunter takes a snap, hand off to Scott right side with a hole. Scott to the 40, open field, midfield. Scott to the 40, makes a cutback, makes a man miss, and finally gets dropped at the 26-yard line as Tracy Scott almost took it to the house. Scott behind him with a tight end also back there. Actually, it's Ashton Hurd as Hunter fakes it to him, pass complete to Rooks. Rooks to the end zone, reaches out for it, and he's dead. No, touchdown. Yeah, we're going to... This is going to be questionable. We have one official call it in and one not. See who's going to uh, prevail here. Looks like they are going to call it a touchdown. Hunter still pistol set. Two receivers right, one left. Fakes the handoff. Heard Hunter looking down the middle. Pass complete to Christian Bruce into Golden Tiger territory at the 44. As Hunter looks to pass, right side, pass complete. Javon Smith breaks it free at the 30, to the 20, 15. Breaks another tackle and finally tripped up at the 12. Heavy tight end presence to the right side of the line. Scott takes it up the middle, dives to the goal line. He is in, touchdown in GU. Yeah, it's still early. Tuskegee's not, not down too far. Uh, 13 to nothing right now. And still got some time left in the first quarter. Plenty of time to come back. I think Tuskegee just has to get their act together and, and uh, get their offense gathered up on the field and say, let's go, guys. Clemson transfer, transfer really corn took them there as Gravely boots a pooch kick high and Tuskegee drops it at the 35. North Greenville pounces on it. And it is going to be, hold the phone. North Greenville ball. Very interesting call that time on the kickoff. I noticed that when Gravely went back to kick, kick off, he only took about two steps back. I looked for an onside kick, which it kind of was. It was about a midfield kick. But very interesting that they, they had that call. Tracy Scott for the Crusaders standing right behind the coach. He's not in the game. I haven't seen him in any of these, these plays. As it's Hunter on the keeper, left side, takes a shot from a defender, falls forward into the end zone. One official's at the goal line, one's at the one. Hunter wants a touchdown and he gets it. Gray, I, it from my vantage point, it looked like he fumbled it in the end zone and possibly Mason Sanders might have jumped on it. As they go shotgun formation, two receivers left, one right. One goes in motion from left to right, so make it two on the right side as Lacey rolls out to the left side, looks down the field, throws it over the middle, down the field, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it is picked off. Nigel Gay picks it off at the 10. He's on the return to the 30, to the 40, 45. Midfield for Gay, breaks the tackle to the 45, 40, and finally gets dropped at the Tuskegee 39. Four receiver set again, two left, two right. Hunter looks to the right side, now back to the middle. Throws it left, Sanders complete to the goal line. And he is in, touchdown. He's in. yeah. That's what Sanders has been waiting on all year. Well, when you're 6'6", you can definitely stretch it out. Hunter in the gun, drops back to pass. Pressure, scrambles out right. Has all day to run, he takes off. Gets to midfield and Bank down and he fumbles it and Tuskegee picks it up, but he is called down. And well, now they're conferencing up about it and oh yeah, call on the field reversed. It's first down Tuskegee. 
but he still called down at where Hunter went down at the 49 at the Crusader side of the field. Azell in the gun, three receivers right. Looks to throw, looks right, takes a hit as he's thrown, and it's incomplete, and the flag comes out. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna call that a helmet-to-helmet. -helmet. Yeah, that, that one's... That one's not going to be uh, well received, but I believe it was the right call. He hit him hard, just face to face. Desmond Reese was the intended target, and KJ McDonald has the penalty marker thrown against him. Yeah, Reese will pick up at least 15 more here. Well, the official's mic is not working anymore, but KJ McDonald has been ejected for targeting. 5'8 freshman as third down for Tuskegee and 19. Azell looking to throw. Throws over the middle. It is intercepted by Nigel Gay. No, that's not Nigel Gay as that is number six, Jeremiah Ferguson. The inside linebacker at Southside High School from Greenville, South Carolina. And Azell threw it right to him, never even saw him. First down and goal from Tuskegee for, for Tuskegee from the one. Hand off to the fullback up the middle to the goal line, and the Golden Tigers are on the board. They line up two receivers right. Tristan Jackson lining up behind Hunter. Now Hunter runs up to the line, takes the snap, lunges for the goal line. He is in. Touchdown, North Greenville on the quarterback keeper from Will Hunter. So obviously not feeling too bad after that last shot he just took. Give it to me, coach, I'll take it in. And that will do it for the first half. North Greenville puts up 28 in the first half. They tack on seven more in the first half, and they lead Tuskegee 35 to seven. Getting some positive yardage out of it. He'll drop back to pass again. Looks over the middle. It is complete to Moncrief as there is a hole in the coverage between Nigel Gay and Sam Houston. And the Tigers are feeling it here at the start of the second half. Trying to position the fullback. Lacey takes a snap, looks right, lobs it up to the end zone, and it is caught. Great catch by Javarius Cheatham to get another touchdown on the board for Tuskegee. Yeah, the Crusader defender fell down there and gave him a wide open catch. Dalton Hall gets a PAT blocked at the line. Hunter looks to pass, scrambles, throws on the run and has it picked off. He threw it right to the defender for Tuskegee, number one, Quavon Taylor, the linebacker. Yeah, I think Hunter that time heard footsteps behind him. Pursuit was right on his heels, and I think he just got rid of it way too quick. And yeah, we're back to one of the keys to the game. Earlier, we mentioned they got to keep him out of the red zone. Here's the chance now for the Crusaders. Lacey in the gun, three receivers right. Looks left to pass, throws it up, one-on-one -on -one coverage to Moncrief, and he catches it, and here comes Tuskegee. That's a touchdown for the Golden Tigers. Yeah, you have to give full credit to the coaching staff now on the Tuskegee sideline. Gravely is out there for a field goal. This would be from 50. Gravely, snap down, kick on its way. It's no good. He pushed it wide right. to the quarterfinals for only the second time in program history. Tuskegee trying to advance to the quarterfinals as well. As Lacey looks to pass far side, complete. Man, wide open over the middle, and now it's a foot race to the 40, to the 35, and finally dropped at the 30. Goes Cheatham again. They bring pressure, Hunter looks to throw, stands in a pocket, lobs it up, has a man wide open, complete, and Rook stumbling for the end zone, got in. Yeah, he's in. boy, that was, the, that was the post pattern I've been looking for. Finally brought it out at the right time. Split back set with Lacey in the middle. He look, he'll look to pass, steps up in the pocket, throws, and it is incomplete, and... Oh, they say he caught it. Oh, it's intercepted. Yeah, he intercepted it to 35. Yeah, he did. Intercepted by Tony Godbolt. Right off the shoe top. 
It was intended for Moncrief. Lacey overthrew him. He took a shot in the backfield as he's getting help to his feet by his linemen. And that will be first and 10 NGU from there on 35. From the near side hash out of the hold of Jordan Helms. Low snap, Gravely gets it up though. Helicopters his way through and it's good. Four wide set for Lacey in the gun. Gant to his left. Takes the snap, looks to the left side, throws, complete on the run to Cheatham. Cheatham tripped up at the 35, and Cheatham again Cheatham. continues to find any open hole. Three receivers right for Lacey in the formation, one man left. Lacey fakes the handoff, quick pass out into the flat to Reese. Reese to the 10, five, bounces off his own man into the end zone. And touchdown, Tuskegee. Yeah, Reese forced that one in. Uh, I don't think the Crusaders give him a whole lot of uh, much guarded on that one. They just kind of let him go ahead and get it in so they can get the ball back. It takes the, what presumably is the final knee. And here come the team starting out to midfield. Still 15 seconds to go on the clock. Everybody's shaking hands. And here comes Coach Farrington and Willie Slater out. So about the 43 yard line is five seconds on the clock. The team's at midfield, two seconds, one second. And that is it. North Greenville takes round two, much like they did round one, except this time 45-26 over at Tuskegee University Golden Tigers. <laughs>